Hey, once again, this is Dennis, and uh, today I got something kind of interesting. And it's actually interesting for all cars. It doesn't matter how old or new they are. You know, but I'm going to use this 95 BMW as an example. Because wiring sucks. Everybody knows it sucks. It, it's one of the most miserable things you could do on a car because it's only 12 volts, which is good because you don't get electrocuted easy. But the wires are smaller. They're usually routed really, 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 really stupidly tight. And you're unable to actually see uh, like a dead short. A dead short is probably the worst thing you could ever have in your car because that means there's a positive line that is grounding out to the actual car and causing it not to want thing that it's attached to function and it does weird things like especially if it's if it's kind of a rub where it is a motion thing where it sometimes does it sometimes doesn't It'll drive you absolutely nuts and the bigger the circuit the worse off it is you know this is where having a wiring schematic some people call them diagrams the proper name is the schematic and thankfully in this day and age schematics like these the wind is brutal out here are readily available because without this schematic I would have never figured out what was causing the instrument cluster lights to not light up on this car there was a dead short I, I, I literally tore apart underneath the dash where there is a mountain a mountain of wire just absolutely the most unbelievable amount of wire you could ever think be shoved into a tiny area but that's been the history of cars post, I guess, 1962, 63. Because my charger, you know, that thing over there, that also has a mile of wiring under the dash. I mean, it's nowhere near the BMW. But, you know, as, as cars from the 80s, late 70s, 80s, and even 90s start becoming a collectible, these are the issues that they're going to have because they shoved a lot of wires underneath there because of conveniences like power windows, automatic headlights, you know, delay wipers, it, you know, automatic climate control, all these things take extra wiring. Now we're at the point where these cars are old enough and their wiring is going to start failing. I, I went crazy on this car. I changed out the switch. You know, I, I was working on the switch. So I'm like, oh, okay. After I put this radio in, I went nuts because after I put the radio in, I had taken the, uh, I had taken the whole center console apart. And so, the first thing you do if you if you worked on something, you have an issue where it's going and it's new. You really need to follow back your steps. So I did. I went back on my steps. Then I tried to I start isolating by using uh, the schematic. I'll show you here. This is what the schematics look like. We'll just put them on the screen. Because this is for the headlamp. This is just for the headlamp. And actually, this is it's even more drilled down. This is just for the instrument cluster on this car. Instrument cluster and some of the interior lights. This has nothing to do with the headlights or anything like that. Side markers, nothing. This is just the inside of the car. It's on two pages. I mean, this is what we're, you know, what, what car, this is a 95. This is a car that was designed in the late 80s. But it's very symptomatic of the cars of that time. Ridiculousness when it comes to wiring. So I went through those wiring and I, I mean, I, what I did is I would go through the, where junctions were because the junctions show up on there. X13129. Uh, okay. And uh, so that, that's a junction. And then there's this other junction, X160, X196. Put that right there, X196. And I was able to disconnect. I tried to figure where the, where the uh, short was before or after. And I thought I had it because I isolated the short and then, and then I reconnected everything and it went away. Hence, you know, weird intermittent dead short. So, you know, I lost them again. All I did was I put an LED into the headlamp uh switch so i can see the when you at night so you can see it i didn't do anything put it back together 
and all of a sudden the dash lights don't work again. So I'm walking through and I'm I'm going crazy. I'm I'm touching all I, I pulled out the I pulled out the headlamp switch, going in there, pulling out, see if there's any breaks in the wires. And then I'm looking at the schematic, and I noticed that this lamp is on the schematic. Right, there's a little light bulb here. And it's just it's this bulb here. It doesn't look like much, right? It's just a little light bulb. Well, it turns out that was my culprit. That light bulb was shorted out completely. So I undid said light bulb. Crazy enough. I thought I was going to be here half the day trying to actually unfix this. So let's let's see. All right. I like I love the annoying. All right. So see that's how I, that's what all I did. I made that so that lights up so you can see it at night. No big deal. See and then yeah they're very faint because it's not that dark, but you can see that there's a little bit of light there. And then of course, that's how you know it's fixed. That's the key with the light, that's the lights are on. And when it, when it was broken, the short actually made it so that buzzer didn't even work. Yes? Hi, how's it going? Uh, I just got a flat tire. Yeah, I was almost done with this video. This young couple comes up, they have, I mean, talk about the, talk about how good luck. See that that car with the uh, on the uh, jack over there? Yeah, that's a that's an E90. They don't come with spare tires, and that car didn't have spare, and it didn't have run flats on it either. So they got a flat tire. So now they have to go down and get the tire fixed. No jack, no nothing. So you know, one of the things you you know, one of the things in life. Uh, I really believe in, let me get a bit of better lighting, is that you, you really, you know, you should try to help someone out. So, and actually, uh, a whole big BMW not there, so it's kind of, kind of cool. So, that was just a little interlude. I, I'm, I'm a little, you know, I think I have my train of thought. So, let me, let's, let's, let's wrap, let's put a bow on this thing and uh, get to the conclusion. So, so what I've done now is that I figured out that that was bad. The light, the light bulb on there, that's a pretty freaking amazing. And to make sure that nothing terrible happens, I'm going to use electrical tape for the only good use it's for. Electrical tape is terrible at actually wrapping wires or doing other things. And I'm trying to do this one-handed. It doesn't do anything. So I'm going to wrap it up like so. Because um, it doesn't really light anything up. I'm going to seal it up. Push it down. So it's, um, I wish I'll put it into the little holder right there. So it uh, can't, uh, can't cause any more problems. So, so there it is. You know, comment about any other weird electrical stuff you had or hell, if you've helped somebody on the side of the road, I, uh, you know, I just, I hope you got something from this. If you did, hey, you'll see those things down there, do that, you know. And, uh, you know, smash the like. Google subscribe because we, we try to do things that are you know the average car guy should do and I just kind of whatever happens to me I just kind of pass it along to you guys yeah you know, with that I'm gonna do uh, some more I actually have a, a couple other things going on and one day I'll actually do the, the roof on this car because I'll, I'll actually have the video done it's 24 hours it's watertight now it's pretty good the headliner I didn't do because it's three hundred dollars and it's not not worth it not for me my daughter could pay for it if she wants to but uh yeah so all right as always i thank you very much and i, I mean again I'll, I'll thank you very much and uh you know remember if you have a cool if you have a cool old car something fun to drive or just something kind of neat remember to take them out because you'll make someone's day, maybe even your own. I'll catch you tomorrow or the day after, but soon. All right.